more than 20 million dollars to cover the cost of temporary shelter for asylum seekers. Kega 9's Kenny Dar spoke with the largest migrant shelter in southern Arizona on the impact the funding will have. Well, the executive director of Casa Salitas, Diego Peño Lopez, says the past few weeks here at the shelter have been stressful with money running dry and no new signs of new funding coming in. But with this latest round of funding being announced Thursday, he's hopeful they can avoid another pitfall like this, at least for the next few months. It's a relief because I've been thinking of funding just lasting till June. Now I can see it lasting almost to the end of the year, right? On paper, $21.8 million looks like a lot of money. That's how much DHS is planning to give Pima County to cover costs of providing temporary shelter and other services to legally process asylum seekers. Despite the hefty amount, Lopez says stretching the money until the end of the year depends on several factors. December of last year, we saw 1,800 people a day. I want to prepare ourselves to be able to meet that need coming through but also to improve our services for the guests and our quality. Despite ongoing concerns, Lopez says the money couldn't have come at a better time. The newest federal dollars will be used retroactively to cover costs incurred by the county and shelters like Casas Elitas since March 31st. We've been at it for 10 years. We have gone from a five bedroom house to you know, several locations. We just need to uh, stick a flag into the ground and see how we can make this more sustainable with, with the current numbers and just keep working.